welcome back. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex shocked the world of social media when they unfollowed everyone on Instagram. It's including me. <laughs> it coincided with the announcement that from now on the couple will hand select 15 Instagram accounts to follow each month as part of a Forces for Change initiative. And one of them is a charity called Rafiki Muema, followed by, uh, founded by an Australian woman, Sarah Roseberg, who joins us now this morning. Sarah, great to have you on. Congratulations on this. Thank you. I just want to let people know, what is this charity? Uh, this charity, we have uh, safe houses in Kenya for children who have suffered abuse. Oh, wow, that's oh, great. Oh, what amazing and worthy work. Yes. How did you feel and did you react when you saw the follow notification from the Sussex Instagram page? Uh, well, it was morning in England for when they started following, so it was our night time, so I was cooking dinner and doing homework and... Um, yeah, my phone started pinging when I was cooking dinner and I, you know, I was waiting on Monday if we could be so lucky and everyone was like, you did it, they're there. So, yeah, I was cooking dinner so it went crazy from then so I poured a wine. Oh, <laughs> well done, well deserved. Yeah. Um, how, do you know, how do they find you? How do they find your charity? I mean, there's been a lot out there for them to go through. Yes, there was. They um, did a campaign on Instagram asking the people to suggest to... Um, they would like them to follow for the mm -hmm. month of August and we there was a lot of people um, quoting Rafiki so I'm hoping that it was from all of our followers but one of our ambassadors Celeste Barber who's a comedian quite popular she commented yes, on it great. Mm -hmm. so um, a lot of people liked her comment which kept it at the top of the feed so I think that had a lot to do with oh, them great. finding us Good yeah, so yeah, really Celeste. exciting you started Rafiki Mwamwa back in 2012. Yeah. How did it come about? How did you get involved? Uh, I've done work in Kenya for about 12 years and I met the co-founder Anne-Marie um, back then in, in um, 2005 and Anne-Marie found a need to start a therapeutic home for young girls who had suffered abuse, somewhere for them to go after the abuse before the court trial or mm. hospital visits mm. and so on. Um, so Anne-Marie put her life savings into this therapeutic home and she's a child psychologist, that's what she's good at, she's not that great at fundraising, so she ran out of funds and um, I, yeah, so she was going to have to shut the home down. My baby was just born then, so I had, um, you know, I was thinking of these, these girls in this therapeutic home and then my baby, I just couldn't let that home shut down. So with a bunch of my friends from Lennox Head, a few drinks under her belt, I made them promise that they would start the charity with me and... We did. That Look is at you so go. beautiful. That's great. Oh gosh. Um, so this whole thing with with Harry and Meghan. I mean, did they? You said that you know it all happened through Instagram. But does someone alert you that you're in the final hundred or whatever? I mean, did you know that Harry? Did Harry just like write you go, hey, just letting you know. Into the all right, just letting you know you're on the top. Five or I'm waiting for his call. I've been busy, call. so I haven't taken all my calls <laughs> last week. Um, but no, we didn't get any notification, anything. It's they just started following us, and yeah, wow. that, that everyone knows incredible. as much as me. I'm waiting for the private message to come through. Steve. Yeah, just keep refreshing oh, I do. that one. <laughs> <laughs> and they're heading to Africa for their first royal tour with baby Archie. Yes. Do you reckon there's any chance that you'll be able to meet them over there? Again, waiting for the call, and the invitation is there. Um, it would be amazing. There was only two African charities in the 15 that they chose. So it's really exciting. But so. for a charity like yourself, how important are the optics of this? I mean, sure, you're on our show now and this has helped a lot. So help, helping to raise funds that if people want to donate to the charity, they should. Uh, how, how important is this, this visual for you? Uh, this visual is everything we've ever aimed for, you know, to get eyes on the children that we love and care for. I mean, I mean, the world is seeing the work we do, which I think is so important. Mm. Um, so it is everything. And we have these, we have 4,000 new followers on Instagram, which is so exciting. And it'll be another 100,000 now. Yeah, try, I try think I'm going to refresh in a minute after. Yeah. Yeah. Check what is Harry's your handle written. so people can go and follow you? At Rafiki Castle. Castle. At Rafiki Castle. And they yeah. go also go to RafikiMuema.com. You can donate, which I, I highly recommend you do. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, you so much for coming in. It's a gorgeous story.